Okay, welcome back. Within our gallery then, let's get started. So we're just going to return a div, that's fine. And what we're looking to do is we want a grid list from a tier UI call, grid list. And we also want, let's just copy that down. We also want a grid list tile. So essentially, we are going to have a grid list component like so. It's not my slash now. And within this grid list, this is where we're going to output all of the grid list tiles. So let's get started with that so first of all let's let's display some data so if you remember we passed the props as photos and we just passed the the array directly so that photos is the array so if we do props dot photos dot map and what we're gonna say is for each image within that um, we are going to give back a grid list tile with some properties. So actually within that, let's do this grid list tile because we're displaying an image. So the image source. So if we go back to our props here, image source is going to be at URLs regular and essentially this image variable that we've now got access to within this map is this so if we did image dot alt underscore description it would return this response um, if we do image dot urls it would return this um, this array but we're going to do image dot urls dot regular which is just going to return this url so let's do that. So image.urls.regular. And then our alt text is going to be, as we just saw, um, simply image.description. Oh no, sorry, image.alt underscore description. So now when we go to our page, okay, props isn't defined, so of course we need to uh, take props in here. Perfect, now we have our images. So that's good. We're searching for boats at the moment. Um, but like I said, they don't really look great. So we're gonna work on that a little bit. So working with these grid lists and grid list tiles, they have some properties that we can give these to make them um, behave in a different way. So for example, cell height, if we pass this property into here, um, it sets the site, the height of the, the grid list cells. And you can see that our images are um, filling the full width of those cells. So, you know, I think that's a bit too big. So let's do, I don't know, like 375 will be cool. Okay, perfect, that's fine. Maybe still a bit big, but it doesn't matter too much. Let's leave it at that. So we've got that cell height. Now, if you remember back to the um, back to the demo that I did at the beginning, they were all different widths and, and size and things. Now that's because we can define how many columns we want here. So if we say three columns, we get three different three different columns, and then we can also define in the grid list tile we can define calls here. And what that does is for each for each image, it says how many columns we want it to span. So for every tile, how many columns do we want it to, to take up? So if we say three, then it's gonna take up like the full width of all three columns. Now, in the documentation for the grid list and grid list, 
tiles, you will notice, if I can just find it, grid list. So they do this, um, they do this too. So they call the height, they say it's gonna be three columns. So we've got one, two, three. And then for each tile, they are saying, if it's got a defined amount of columns uh, in the tile.columns, then use that value or use one. So if we look into the source code, it's almost, it's set here how many columns you want the image to take up. So because we're a column from an API, so that would be great if you know you had a lot of, of, of almost static images. Um, it would be really easy to define that on each image. Um, but we're a column from an API. So we, we don't just want every image to take up two columns. Uh, it's, it's gonna need to be more for than that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, if you notice, each of these images, they have a width of a, between like two and six, 7,000 pixels wide. So if we say the columns is equal to the image.width divided by a thousand, um, that's gonna be roughly a number between like two and five. So if we do that, uh, these are all pretty big images. Um, so let's divide it by more. So let's divide it by 1500. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting some variation. Probably still not as much as I would like. There's definitely no small images. Um, so 1700. And yeah, we're getting there. I've got a smaller one here. So we might just do divide by a thousand and then divide by two. Yeah, that seems to be a good good mix of images. So again, this doesn't look like our original yet, uh, but we're getting there. Um, and it may be wise to just um, do this to fixed two. So that's all, oh, not two, sorry, the one zero. So it's always gonna round um, up or down neatly. So I might even want to increase this a little bit just to decrease the sizing. Okay, I guess all the pictures of boats are pretty big, but that's cool. So we're getting there now. We just need to um, do a couple things. So on our grid list tile, we're going to add some styles. So we do style. So the first one is flex grow. I said the first one, I think that's the only one we're applying to this. Flex grow is one. Um, and that that is pretty much uh, sorted. These boards aren't looking great. I've got to admit. So I don't know if we're gonna adjust it for the boards, but then well, I'll shoot a Ferrari. If we did that now. Yeah, so these images are still too wide. Let's change those numbers a little bit. So divided by three, let's try that. Okay, that's more like it. Yeah, that's more like it. And does that change our boat problem? Yeah, so we're getting a lot more variation now. So this is looking much, much better. Okay, cool. So we're getting there. So we've got our images and the last thing I want to add is a grid list tile bar, it's called. Um, so grid list tile bar. So if we add that within side, within our grid list tile, so grid list tile bar. And this just takes a title, I mean it takes a few properties, but we're just going to pass it a title and then a subtitle. And if we look in our image array, for each one of these, it's not working. Each one of these images, it has, it's got a description and it's got this user um, and we can pull out a user, a user's name. So we're just gonna do that. So if we say 
image dot description. And then the subtitle is going to be image.user.name. And then we can see that some of them just have a name, that some of them get a name and a title. Cool. So I think we're in a good place to pause the video here. I'm going to go get a quick drink and then we'll be back to add our form. We're going to add the pagination in here too.